good day everyone uh, my name is laksh gupta and on behalf of mirai asset india i would like to announce and we are happy to launch uh, mirai asset global x artificial intelligence and technology etf fund of fund which will be launching on the 16th august 2022 and a uh, better person than me here my colleague from global x uh, she is a research analyst uh, and will help us try and understand the artificial intelligence and technology space the current status of it and uh, the potential it has from an investment point of view so welcome me and uh, thank you for taking time out and doing this for us uh, so before we dive into artificial intelligence and technology and all of it uh, for the benefit of our viewers if uh, you can help us understand how do you identify a theme from an investment point of view and uh, why artificial intelligence and technology at this time over to you Great. Thank you so much, Lakshay. So when we're looking to consider a theme, we look for broad structural changes or paradigm shifts in the economy. From there, we look towards identifying credible trends that emerge from these shifts. So as a company, we like to break this down into three major components. What we start out with is conviction. By conviction, we mean that there is a large market, which would mean a total addressable spending that amounts to a large amount. From there, we look at investability. So when we're looking at investability, we want to make sure that there is a vibrant group of public businesses that we can have in our portfolio, which would directly target the theme. From there, we look at time frame. So we want to make sure that this is a multi-decade pursuit. We believe that the progress in artificial intelligence will take decades to fully play out, which will allow software to become smarter and more intelligent. If you're taking a look at artificial intelligence in specific, an early use case would actually be machine learning. This is where we automate learning from previous data inputs and it is growing rapidly across sectors. While that's the first active use of AI, we think there's plenty of room for AI to advance and automate further across platforms. This will span anywhere from consumer apps all the way to industrial applications and enterprise use cases. Sure. Uh, thanks May for that. I think uh, very well said on uh... you know those structural changes and the time frames involved uh, you know speaking of our time frame maybe if you can uh, help us understand uh, why artificial intelligence and technology at this point of time what's the current status of it so i believe that the easiest way to understand how artificial intelligence is playing out currently is to look at some specific use cases looking at a company that's very well known like tesla they're using fsd which is full self driving technology as well as their dojo tip technology which works on their dojo systems to solve hard problems completely on its own tesla actually also takes it a step further and they work to train deep neural networks on problems ranging from anywhere from perception to control another very well known company amazon specifically their cloud platform amazon web services has this own aws machine learning feature which allows consumers to make accurate predictions they get deeper insights from data and reduce operational overhead uh if we're looking at it on a project perspective google actually collaborated with nhs uk to create a retinal scanning procedure and that's allowed people to get diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy which would actually help in the long term to prevent blindness looking forward there's also a project with microsoft and nvidia where they're working together to use ai and machine learning to actually learn about approaches that will power ccs projects this works towards climate preservation which is also obviously a very important thing right now they are working towards sequestering a combined amount of i think around 40 megatons of co2 per year so these are some specific use cases but as a company we believe that the next generation of ai will be very application specific it'll be focused on helping us become more productive So in the next 2 to 3 years we're seeing platforms like OpenAI's Dolly 2 which actually allows us to use any kind of text and turn it automatically into images things like that will offer a peek into what the next generation of tools will be coming up. AI will also be a sold as integration tools we believe AI APIs will be very common which is something cloud companies will be able to leverage and increase their own personal revenues as well. Sure. sure i think uh, i agree with you especially with uh, google and tesla i mean there is huge potential when it comes to artificial intelligence and technology uh, i mean just continuing with the further 
if you can tell us a bit on uh, you know the potential growth drivers where actually will the growth come from when it all comes down to say artificial intelligence and technology yeah so i think the very cool thing about artificial intelligence is that it intersects with almost every sector so if we're taking a look at something even like cybersecurity right ai can be used to predict security breaches cyber threats and then quickly identify errors within any system or network infrastructure there were actually reports that breaches of organizations that employ any type of automation and ai in their security systems on average cost over 3 million less compared to businesses that have no such deployment so a statistic like that really emphasizes the cost cost savings measure of implementing ai this is also seen in a field like healthcare which has the ability to take the benefits of ai and really reduce workload and tedious tasks so currently we're seeing administrative tasks within the healthcare industry that make up almost 30% of healthcare costs and that can be reduced significantly with with the help of ai and automation um something that i guess is very common in ai is looking at it from the robotics perspective robotics are found in almost every industry including manufacturing healthcare space exploration autonomous vehicles everything um if we see currently the upside from automation in a company we know very well amazon their warehouses is about 18 billion dollars of savings so that's also a massive opportunity there and then on the transportation sector we have companies like ford gm baidu tesla alphabet all of them very immersed into the auto- autonomous driving technologies um sector they've invested billions of dollars years of research and development etc and self driving cars could actually save the economy nearly 488 billion in annual savings and could reduce traffic accidents and another 158 billion in savings due to reduced fuel costs So we're seeing that AI can save a significant cost and then over time we we will see AI be able to handle most of our money movements and shop for us anything. Well, thank you May for that uh, brief and detailed explanation on the potential growth drivers and you know uh, especially let's let's come to the other point on uh, you know now that we are actually launching a fund on global ex artificial intelligence and technology ETF uh, you know uh, safe to say that you know the one of the major comparisons would be with the uh, nasdaq 100 so i mean how are we placed and how is this uh, going to be very very different from a nasdaq 100 if you can give our viewers a bit on that please yeah so i can start by actually breaking down the artificial in- intelligence and technology etf that we have here at global x and then i can kind of compare that to the nasdaq 100 so that we can juxtapose the two So starting with the AIQ ETF here at Global X, we target companies in developed markets which benefit from the development and utilization of artificial intelligence. So this includes any company that also manufactures hardware in artificial intelligence. We can actually divide the companies we look at into two major categories. Category 1 has any AI developers, which are people that develop AI and use AI in their products. as well as artificial intelligence as a service. So these are companies that provide artificial intelligence capabilities to their customers as a service. Within category 2, we're seeing artificial intelligence hardware, which is companies that may produce semiconductors, have memory storage and other hardware that is utilized for artificial intelligence applications, as well as quantum computing because we see a lot of possibility within that space. So companies that develop quantum computing technology When we look at companies we want to make sure that we're looking at a very pure play profile. So to ensure that these companies fit in the pure play profile, we have companies with an exposure score of greater than 20% to AI and they're subject to a maximum weight of 3%. Companies that have an exposure score less than 20% have a maximum weight of 1%. So this really helps us have a portfolio of companies that are very very AI centric. with so many tech companies within the AI domain differentiating it from the Nasdaq 100 is very important so the Nasdaq 100 takes a very broad look at the technology market the US technology market has been around for decades now over 25 years so naturally there's a lot of legacy businesses that are not growing as fast or have the same trajectory that we would like within our portfolio so we don't have 
the kinds of companies that the Nasdaq 100 may have, where there's not as much pure play exposure to any emerging theme. They might not be doing something that we find very exciting. Sure. I mean, uh, I too agree with you on, you know, those fronts. And uh, it is certainly different with all the, uh, you know, uh, the fact that it is a more true representative of artificial intelligence and technology. Uh, thanks, May, for a detailed uh, explanation on, uh, you know, the differentiation with the uh, NASDAQ 100. And, you know, uh, most certainly it is a product uh, which gives a true blue representation into AI and technology. And uh, probably one of the last questions, uh, you know, from, from an investor point of view is that uh, if, uh, if you can tell us what potential of it uh, purely from investment uh, point of view and uh, what can an investor today expect getting into a theme like AI and technology and uh, you know if I may add uh, for the benefit of all our viewers uh, what is a typical time horizon that uh, would look at coming into a theme like this yeah uh, absolutely so I think that the potential can really be seen in the areas of growth and as a company, we believe that there will be growth in four major areas. So starting with enterprise software, we think that companies within the cloud space will leverage cloud software and increasingly use artificial intelligence solutions, which would really, really expand their business models drastically. We also think data management players have a lot to gain from the artificial intelligence space. AI relies on data as a feeder. So our theme identifies the best companies within the data space and incorporates those into our holdings. We also think that chips that allow for AI processing and training as well as other related semiconductor components are very, very important in this space. AI needs GPUs like NVIDIA's to do rapid computations. And then lastly, leading computer consumer internet platforms that bring the power of AI to apps and services we use on a daily basis. So here we're looking at companies like Google, Apple, and other services which use AI to deliver our products today. So we believe the strategy is perfectly positioned to offer comprehensive exposure to this transformational opportunity as it evolves through multiple phases of innovation over the next decade or so. And as I mentioned previously, when you're looking at very high growth funds, the trajectory of investment is probably longer. So while there's no definitive timeline here, it is a longer term investment naturally, as we're looking to see the evolution of technology, data processing and machine learning over time. Sure. Thank you so much for that detailed explanation. Uh, you know, on behalf of all our viewers and Mirai Asset India, I am again wanting to thank you for taking time out and doing this for us and uh, hope to see you soon uh, thanks may take care and uh, thank you to all our viewers stay safe thank you so much for having me thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully